This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our March 28th, 2023 Palmer City Council meeting, and that'll be at six o'clock. Uh, one of the first things on the agenda, it's uh, called a first reading for ordinance number 23-001. It's a rezone, and by first reading, it, it means it's, it's in our packet. The whole thing is there with, uh, I think, Planning and Zoning has reviewed it. There's minutes for their meeting and their discussions they had. And then the 28th lets it come into the public. The council can read it and the public can read it. And then it won't come back. It'll come back in two weeks on April 11th for consideration and for the council to consider and vote on it. And uh, that way it's just, it's kind of a two steps for a public hearing to make sure that everyone gets a chance to look at all the materials well in advance. Um, then we've also got some, uh, what they call AMs. Which are what? Okay. We've also got a resolution for uh, supporting a strategic Alaska food reserve. And then there's a couple uh, community council grants uh, for who let the girls out. And uh, what to see, the other one is for a family park. And, the, and the, both of those are the staff has recommended a $1,500. So each of those the council will be reviewing and considering and voting on those. And then things coming up for future meetings. April 11th, we're planning to have Todd Smolden of the governor's office. He's going to come and talk to us about the governor's carbon initiative. Uh, also on April 11th, we're hoping to have Kim Solian from the Matsu Borough presenting about the repercussions of the... Um, urban designation for much of the core area of the Matsu. And then maybe uh, the meeting after that, Amy Spargo for Arctic Winter Games will do a presentation to keep us informed of what's happening. Uh, basically what happened is with the 2020 census, and it took them a year or so to get everything finalized on it, but through that census they, they came up with urban areas that are designated in the Matsu borough area for much a lot of the core area. And so with that, there are changes and difficulties with uh, doing things. Instead of rural, those areas will now be considered uh, urban. And so to do things for planning for roads, et cetera, there, the borough is looking at creating a metropolitan planning organization and the city of Palmer is looking at, be, at joining in with that. And that would become an official entity which would allow federal money to come in and then we would have a seat at the table to help decide where that money would go in, in our area. Uh, there's also issues for public transit, and there's a, a program for that, and then there's also for storm drain drainage. And so those are all kind of results of that, um, the census designation. And so that's why we're going to have a presentation on, on that. And there's also in my, uh, at the end of my report is a timeline for each of those three projects of what the borough is kind of expecting or going to see happening this year. It's all supposed to be happening this year, so... There's timelines to kind of show how things have to stay on track. And I know the city manager will be updating us about what's happening with our uh, storefront library that we're getting set up here. Hopefully it'll be opening sometime uh, next month. Um, but I ran across uh, an old timeline that an old librarian had put together about the Palmer Library. And uh, some of the notes for that timeline are like in 1935, the colonists collected books and they had it in a colony tent. And later that was moved to the basement of Reverend Bingle's uh, house there with the Church with a Thousand Trees. And um, then in 1945, the first meeting of the Palmer Library Association Articles of Incorporation filed with the state. And uh, books were moved to the barber shop at the rec hall of the Matanuska Maid Co-op. In 90, 1946, the Office of the Auditor issued Certificate of Incorporation. And uh, the first story hour happened in March of 1947. Uh, 1948 books were moved to Al King's heated but dim garage on South Alaska. Um, because that was because Matt Maid started charging rent. Uh, 1949 ARRC donated uh, land west of Kozlowski's store for a library. And then in 1951, a new red chicken coop was opened for checking out books. There was an oil heater, but it was temperamental and no running water. Uh, but the willow bushes out back often served as a bathroom. 
And then in uh, 1967, the library moved to a new addition of the City Hall and Fire Station. Essentially, that's, I, I can remember coming to that one. That's where the Palmer, the City Ch Council Chambers are now, used to be the library. Kind of squeezed in the, into the end of City Hall there. In 1979, Sally Atwood Gwynn became the first professional librarian. Uh, it was all run by volunteers from 1935 to 1979. Uh, and borough and city tax money and grants supported the library. And in 1985, um, well, 1984, the building that has been the library was constructed. In 1985, I believe they moved in in January and had 18,000 books and moved into a spacious setting. And then as 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 late as 2010, Palmer Library had 60,000 books, 15 public access computers, a children's section, bathrooms with running water. That's just a tidbit to let you know some of the timeline history of the Palmer Library. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our March 28th Palmer City Council meeting.